Hi everyone, what's up? Quakey here. Hope you've had a great week so far. Hope you've been enjoying our final Life Word series as we've been recapping through the Old Testament. This series that we've called God's Heart. Because the truth is, all of the themes we've looked at over across the Old Testament and all the themes we've covered this week are all characteristics of God. Things that are close to his heart. Things that he's about. We've spoken about how God takes the initiative. He's always the one to take the first step. He's always the one with a plan in mind. He always comes after us first. We spoke about God's faithfulness, how he's willing to stick by his promises towards us, even though we aren't worthy of the love and the grace and the forgiveness that he gives to us freely, especially when we don't deserve it. He's always faithful. And yesterday we looked at how God speaks to us, about how God is consistently and always speaking to us. He's been speaking all throughout the Old Testament. Simeon even pointed out to the fact that even creation speaks of God's glory. God's always speaking. We just need to be open to listening and opening his word to get to know what he sounds like. So when he speaks, we know it. And in today's video, I get the honour of talking about God's love. You see, the whole motivation of God's plan for humanity in wanting to bring us back, to reconcile us, to be in relationship with us is love. God created humanity. God created Adam and Eve in the garden simply to be in relationship with us. And it's that same love that motivates God to find a way in the midst of Adam and Eve's disobedience to find a way to reconcile them to him. It's the same love that motivates God to see his people crying out to him in Egypt in their slavery and send Moses to go and save them. It's the same love and faithfulness we see in God that even has him continue to look after and steward and shepherd over the Israelites as they go through the wilderness, even when they disobey him there. It's the same love that we see in the story of Hosea, a story that captures it so perfectly that even when we weren't worthy of God's love, he did all the things we spoke about this week. He took the initiative, he was faithful, he spoke to us and he loved us even when we didn't deserve it. Maybe you've always seen God and the Old Testament as an ancient thing that's full of violence and greed and destruction and a God that's always angry. I hope that through life words and the series we've done and even this week looking back that in those stories you still see that every action is motivated by love. You know we love quoting John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he sent his one and only son to die for us so that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. God's love is the motivation. Even in Malachi, it speaks about God's love and how his love is the motivation for all that is going to come for sending his son Jesus so he could die as a sacrifice for us. Jesus died because he loved us, because he thought that we were worth it, because he saw us and he chose to take the initiative. He chose to stay faithful to the mission that he was given by his father. He listened to his father when he spoke and he spoke the words of his father to us as encouragement. He spoke life of love and joy and God's forgiveness. And that love was demonstrated in sacrifice. We see in Isaiah 52, it talks about the suffering servant and the perfect image of love is ultimately sacrifice. So can I encourage you today that the next time you look through the Old Testament, you wouldn't think of a God who's vengeful and angry. Our God is consistent. The Bible says he never changes. And if there's one thing that I can say, that God has done is that in every motivation, in every action, in every story, you'll see something of God's love in it. So can I encourage you to think about God as one who loves you, loves you even when you get it wrong, speaks life to you when you feel down, takes the initiative even when you're not looking, even when you're not thinking about him and is faithful even when we don't deserve it. That's the God who wants to be in relationship with us and that is the God we ultimately serve. Guys, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this Life Words video. As always, our study resource has gone out, so make sure you get a hold of that on our website and join me and Amy for Life Words Unpacked this Friday as we look through this series, look over the themes and all the things we've chatted about today. But that's it from me, guys. So we'll see you soon for the next Life Words. God bless.